get a little bit more angry expression now. All right, so today I'm uh, testing our new Android face capture solver in the comparison to our existing iOS uh, face capture solution that we already have out today. And this is for our new uh, head cam that I'm also wearing and testing with. So I've already done a little bit of uh, setup and configuration with uh, all our filters, the new filters we've added. Some are already live, some are coming with the next update uh, to optimize for my face and my performance. And I'll uh, try to do a few uh, expressions here, blinking, being a bit, I don't know what that is, happy and sad, but not the best actor necessarily. And uh, if everything is not to my liking, I can always go in either in the clip or back into live and see if I can uh, find how I get the expression that I want. So, um, for example, let's see, maybe when I'm angry, it's more like this, one more browse. Yes, that's better. Heavy. So there's a lot of time, obviously, you can spend on this. And you can always go into the clip afterwards. And uh, play it back. And, uh, and change the settings there, which is on a per clip basis. So uh, if I find a specific time here, for example, I'm not getting maybe quite the browse that I want, I can go in and adjust that and see how I can get the, the results I want. And of course, these filters are something we can, we will keep adjusting and uh, improving over time. Three new tests here. Appel. Get a little bit more angry expression now. And it's Android, the green one here, and the iOS uh, to the left. And of course, um, one thing is seeing it on our actor Newton, but another one is uh, seeing it uh, also on a more detailed character, for example, a metahuman. So if I open up metahuman now, I can see uh, it's Android uh, on the left, this uh, beautiful woman, and this beautiful man is running the iOS um, face capture. And um, I think overall, we are pretty happy with the result so far. There's still some tweaks and adjustments to do with a lot of the main expressions uh, in place. And of course, the possibility to go in to the to the recordings and adjust uh, the filters to to get the expressions that you want but eye movements eye tracking mouth movements uh, eye uh, expressions cheeks um, all of that is in a pretty good state and uh, of course it's important with uh, good lighting uh, the hit cam comes with a built-in led light uh, at the three different strengths and of course off so depending on your light conditions where you're the recording. Uh, you can turn it on in various intensity levels to make sure your face are evenly lit uh, to get the best um, the best results. Of course, you can adjust the position of the head cam. It's very lightweight. It's very, you know, easy to wear. It doesn't intrude, uh, but of course it's important to position it in a way so it can see your full face and your full, full face uh, silhouette as you move around. Um, and then it's connected to the, the Android phone, where you can see a live representation of the of your camera feed and the solver. And of course, similar to the iOS uh, uh, app we have today, you can also send commands to Studio to do recordings um, and calibrate and that kind of stuff. But most of all, it's for the face capture, obviously. So it's just uh, as simple as you opening the app when you enter a phone. It will. Um, appear something to connect to in studio, you connect, it sends a request, you accept it, and it's as easy as that, it will be connected. And uh, once it has uh, booted up uh, in the app and started the solver, 
you will get a stream into Studio, as you see here. So it's super seamless, super easy. If it's not already paired to an actor, you just uh, pair it, and then you have facial capture uh, running on your app, the actor from your head cam and your Android phone. So simple, effective, efficient, and uh, very easy to use.